Silver Torch 66 presents the fourth release in the Chi Yu Chiang Wang Medallion series. My good friends at Coins Today from Seoul, Korea gave me an early peek at this beautiful new Chi Yu release. This Chi Wu series is a result of the successful collaboration between Coins Today and South Korea's official Comsco Mint. This fourth release depicts an epic scene from the time-honored legendary warrior Chi Wu Chiang Wang, the translation of which means Chi Yu, King of Heaven. Chi Yu was a legendary figure in Korean history who was an enemy of the Yellow Emperor and is known as the god of war and a symbol for victory as well as a guardian figure. He wears a demon-like mask casts magical spells, carries a large shield, and is believed that he has the ability to control the weather. This medallion was minted at Comsco, the official sovereign mint of South Korea since 1951. It contains one troy ounce of three nines pure silver. It has a limited mintage of 33,000 pieces, a diameter of 40 millimeters, a thickness of 2.69 millimeters. It has a denomination of one clay, however it is not legal tender. The one clay is said to have been derived as an English translation of a Korean term used as a general counter of things. As the Korean government didn't want this medallion to be monetized, the term of denomination was simply left out, leaving the number one and the English translated term that represents a counter of general things. The term clay is a new expression for the meaning of materials from the earth. So the one clay means a count of one portion of earth required to create a yong myong wa, which is a dogabi carved clay roof tile to ward away evil spirits. The obverse of all medallions in the Chi Wu series depicts the same image of the dogabi on Chi Wu's shield in front of a textured background. You will also find the inscription for the year of mintage, metal content, and fineness the inscription of one clay, the country of issue, and the mint logo of Comsco. Directly under the shield you will find the circular security feature with lenticular text that will display either AG or 999 depending on what angle you view the metal. The reverse displays the mighty warrior Chiwu in full battle dress, standing with his shield and sword atop a vantage point plateau. He gazes down upon the victorious aftermath of a fiercely fought battlefield. Inscribed along the top left edge is the warrior's name. Amongst the most prolific of supernatural beings in Korean folklore is the Dugabi, which when translated to English means goblin. Dugabi are creatures with supernatural powers and skills that can have both negative and positive characteristics. They generally take pleasure in making humans happy, but at times are known to bring misery. According to traditional Korean folklore, Dogabi are not derived from humans, nor do they take human form. Dogabi are derived from inanimate objects, typically household objects such as brooms, baskets, grinding pestles, and objects stained with human blood. There are multiple versions of Dugabi which come in different shapes and sizes. They have features including horns, bulging eyes, a big mouth, long sharp teeth, a hairy body, and long claws. Dugabi are typically night beings but you might find them out during the day when it's foggy or rainy. According to Korean tradition a Dugabi could scare away evil spirits so Korean people would take their kiwa, which was the clay roof tile situated on the edge of both ends of the roof, and replace them with the clay tiles engraved with the face of a dugabi on it. Chiwu used the dugabi on his battlefield armor and shield to ward off evil spirits and to instill fear in the hearts of his enemies. My thoughts about the fourth release of the Chiyu medallion. 
I'm a big fan of the series for its innovative designs, quality minting, and the lenticular text circular security feature. It's good to see a different depiction of Chiyu. For the first time, we get to see his entire face. I also noticed that this design has very nice contrasting fields of depth between the background, mountains, Chiyu, and his shield. This series is becoming known for its designs being not too complicated or busy. The main subject is where your eyes initially focus, but then you are allowed to wander into some very surprisingly detailed foreground and background subjects. I must say that the artist did a superior job on the hands of the warrior. Seldom do you see such accurate proportion and position of the human hand in coin art. It appears the Dagabi shield was sculpted at a slightly different angle, allowing a different reflection of light and giving the piece a sense of depth without utilizing the incusing or high relief pressing techniques. The next thing that caught my eye was the effect of texture and depth in the canyon in the lower background. It's impressive when an artist can create so much from so little. This design is the first of the four to incorporate any kind of detailed background. I think this change brings more substance to the character, which helps to better tell the story. I hope that this is an indication of more attention to detail in future designs. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the next release design has to offer. What are your thoughts about this fourth release design? Let me know in the comments section below. A big thank you to all who support this channel, especially to those who take the time to like and comment. I don't monetize my channel, so your likes and comments really help the channel to grow and be seen by others, and it is greatly appreciated. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. Then be sure to select the notification bell to be notified as soon as I post up new content. Feel free to share this content with all. 